let's look at uh, the formula of re uh, variance of random variable. So the formula for uh, variance of a random uh, variable is given by this formula, sigma i from 1 to n of xi minus mu squared times p of xi. Okay, now in one of my previous video, I showed you how p of e of x, or expected value of x is nothing but mu, which is the population mean, which is equal to sigma. It has a similar formula, i from 1 to n, uh, i from 1 to, i from 1 to n, it should be 1 to n of xi times p of xi. This was in one of the videos that I proved. Okay. Now we want to prove the variance of x, and this is called the expected value of x, which is mu. Okay, now <clears throat> if you you should be knowing the formula of standard deviation. So standard deviation is the square root of variance. Standard deviation and mean are two vital statistics used when you are talking about uh, data. So standard deviation is square root of variance. And <clears throat> variance is defined like this. Variance is again, <clears throat> excuse me, sigma x minus x bar the whole squared over n. So if you think about variance, variance is the sum of square of the distances each data set is from the mean. Okay, sum of, or it's the average of sum of distances each data point is from the mean. So it's a bit complicated to understand it conceptually. Now, what we're going to do is from this formula, we're going to say this and this are basically the same formula. That's what I'm intending to do. So let us take a population of random variables. Say this is my population of random variables. You've got three threes, you've got one phi and one six. Now, we're going to use this formula. We're going to find variance using this formula. And then we're going to say that this formula and this are one and the same. Okay. So, first we need mean. So, that is x bar, which is 3 plus 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 divided by 5. Okay. So, this is 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 6 is 20, over 5, which is 4, your mean is 4. Now, to find variance, let's make up a table. So, this is x, this is x minus x bar, and this is x minus x bar, the whole squared. So, let's write the x's. So, you've got 3, 3, 3, 5, and 6. Okay, so we know x bar is 4. So I will go 3 minus 4, which is negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1, and 2. And if you square it, it's 1, 1, 1, 1, and 4. So variance is the sum of this. You add this up, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is 8. So let me use a different color. So we can say variance according to this formula. Variance is this is 8 which is your, this is nothing but sigma x minus x bar squared. This is your sigma x minus x bar squared, which is 8, which is 8 over 5, which is 16 over 10, which is 1.6. So, so can we think about how to get this in a different way? So what we are saying is your variance, variance we got, Let's write this in a different way. Variance, I can say, well, that is 1. 1 I can write as, this can I write, this is 3 minus 5 squared plus 3 minus 5 squared plus 3 minus 5 squared plus 5 no, 3 minus 4 squared. Your mean is not 5. Your mean is 4. So 3 minus 
4 squared, 4 squared, and again minus 4 squared, plus 5 minus 4 squared, plus 6 minus 4 squared. And I'm trying to explain this because students tend not to understand that variance of a random variable is nothing but variance of any data that you find, so divided by n. Okay, so can we think now, you can see how many lots of 3 minus 4 squared. Well, there are three lots of 3 minus 4 squared, so I can say 3 times 3 minus 4 squared. 3 minus 4 squared, 3 times the same as 3 times 3 minus 4 squared, plus 1 times 5 minus 4 squared, plus 1 times 6 minus 4 squared, over n. Of course, n is 5 here, not n n would become phi here. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to distribute this phi to each of this group. So can I say that is same as 3 fifth times 3 minus 4 squared plus 1 fifth times 5 minus 4 squared plus 1 fifth times 6 minus 4 squared. Okay. Now, what does that mean? This means 3 fifth is 6 tenths, which is 0 0.6 times, let me use, this is uh, 3 minus 4 squared, so let me write this, plus, this is what? This is 2 tenths, which is 0 0.2 times 5 minus 4 squared, plus, again, this is 0 0.2, this is 0.2 times, this is 0 0.2 times 6 minus 4 squared. Now, as I told you, your mean is nothing but, if this is your population, so we can say, well, this is nothing but, not your sample mean, so you can call this your population, because this is your population. You're talking about the whole population. So your sample, so your x bar is nothing but your mu. So now if you look carefully, this is, this, okay. Now what is this? This is nothing but the probability of getting 3. This is the probability of getting 3. Okay, now if you think about it, what's the probability? If you have a population of this, the probability of getting 3 is 3 fifth, which is 0 0.6, okay? And probability of 4 is two, 1 out of 5, 1 out of 5, which is 2 out of 10, which is 0 0.2, and so on. So this number, this number is the probability of getting 3. This number is the probability of getting 5. And this number is the probability of getting 6. This is your mu. Can you see? This is nothing but your mu. This is also your mu. This is your mu. And your 4 is your mu. And these values are your xi. So this is your x1. This is your x2. And this is your x3. Okay. Now, the same data can be written like this if you change this into a probability distribution. I can say, you can make up two columns, xi, xi, you've got 3, 5, and 6, 3, 5, and 6, and your probability of p of x, so let me write p of xi, the probability of getting 3 is 0 0.6, the probability of getting 0 0.2 of, of the probability of getting 5 is 0 0.2, and the probability of getting 0 0.6 is again 0 0.2. So what does this formula tell me? So let me bring that formula down. So let me copy this. Copy and let me paste it here. Okay. So the formula tells me we are going to get the same answer. So the formula tells me that variance of x, variance of x, I'll write VAR, variance of X is 
the sigma of xi, this is your xi minus mu. Your mu is, in this case, your mu is 4. And this is your p of xi. So basically what you have to do, you have to multiply this, your probability. So first let me take x xi minus mu. So that is 3 minus 4, the whole square, times 0 0.6. Plus phi minus, phi minus 4, the whole square times 0 0.2 plus 6 minus 4, the whole square times 0 0.2. And this, if you compare with this, with this, this, and this are the same. Okay, so this is same as, so let us complete it. So this is minus 1 squared is 1 times 0 0.6, plus this is again 1 squared, which is 1 times 0 0.2, and plus this is 2 squared, which is 4 times 0.2. So let us do without the calculator. So this is nothing but 0 0.6. This is 0 0.2. And this is 0 0.8. And if you add them up, so this is 0.1.6. And that's what we got when we found the variance of these data using this formula.